This is the Freefine K688, a cardioid dynamic microphone with an inbuilt shop mount, XLR and USB-C outputs, and let's face it, it's basically been sold as an alternative to the Shure SM7B, one of the most popular podcast microphones in the world. But is it any good? Let's find out. red side at the moment the alvin's cable has uh it goes into a twin so i'm not sure if this is on the left or the right or whatever but obviously if it's just on the left or the right then of course in post you can Okay, and uh, I can see now, so I'm using the Zcam app here because we get a wireless monitor effectively. Um, interestingly, um, hot tip, if you're using the Alvin's cable on the Zcam, um, not sure if it'll be on the Sony FX series and things, I just swapped the XLR from the red side to the black side, and I just got, well, the, um, the sound, uh, you know, the, the display was just all the way up like it had lots of noise or some kind of feedback or something um so you can't hot swap it like that but i think that's soundies will probably correct me on this it's probably normal anyway um that so i've just turned off the camera swapped it over turned it back on again and now we're, we're back and it's acting accordingly according to this screen so i hope this sounds the same or similar is it on the left or the right side i'll find out in post but let's go to the uh, to the desk and uh, we'll see what we can come up with, um, you know, in terms of comparing this to other mic solutions. Right, here we are at the desk. Uh, now, just for the for the sake of parity, I've got a Sony BM10 shotgun microphone on top of the thing and I'm touching the end of it right now. Um, you're in a really super wide lens at the moment. Um, so this is what that sounds like at arm's length, kind of vlogger length, if you will. Um, and then we're going to use the Blue Yeti microphone, which I've had for a good 10 years. It's my old, <laughs> old trusted faithful. Um, and then we'll use the fine, the um, Fee Fine. Um, I was going to use some Rode wireless mics, which are just here. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, it, it, different, different category, right? It's just wired microphones. So let's see. You know what that sounds like so we're going to switch to the thing now and now this is the sound coming from the uh, blue yeti microphone uh we are recording we have got mid on both things we've got mid um gain on there uh, apart from that nothing else has been touched so this is what it sounds like uh through the uh blue yeti and now we will switch over to the fifine um podcasting microphone one week later and this is the audio coming from the Freefine uh, mic. Um, same levels on every on everything. Um, how does it sound, I guess? Uh, does it sound any better than the old uh, Blue Yeti here? This has obviously not got a pop filter on, but if we do that, you know, for the sake of, of fair testing, and we do something like that, we've got the pop filter there to take the pop 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 bits out. Um, you know, I think with these, the idea is to get quite close to them, but, uh, you know, Hopefully it should sound okay, and hopefully this was useful. And um, if I've got any conclusions, I'll put them right at the end there. But yeah, hopefully this will help you make some purchasing decisions, I suppose.
Hooray, it's the end of that video, so it's time to tempt you with more videos. Please help me, I'm mental and poor, and I need the AdSense. I like to move it, move it.